Hey guys, Magnus Robert here bringing you another video. Today we're going to be doing the first part of round one of the idea competition. So essentially a few months back, I, I well not a few months, a few weeks back, I announced a little idea competition where the winner would get a £20 Amazon gift card or $20 Amazon gift card, uh, just, just to have a little incentive behind it. And unfortunately we only got five entries, which is a bit upsetting because I did want to have like at least ten. Um, that was my, well, eight was my ideal because then I could do eight split it down to four, split it down to, you know, one, um, two, and then one winner. Uh, yeah, for this one, I'm going to be, uh, instead, it's going to have to be a bit different, unfortunately, but essentially what's going to happen is today we're going to be looking at three of the entries. I've picked them totally at random. I don't know who they, who did them. That's part of the, the issue. And just a quick rule, if you're watching and you have seen your event, on the screen do not comment that's my event I want it to keep it anonymous uh, that you will be disqualified if you comment hey that's my event all right that's my rule because uh, I don't want any bias I don't want I want it totally to be random so let's get into it with the first part of round one and um, and we're gonna be eliminating one person today whoever gets the least amount of votes and in terms of how we're gonna pick the winner I'm not judging it, I'm going to have you guys judge it, so what I want you to do is there's going to be a YouTube poll, actually no, there's going to be a Google form, sorry not YouTube poll, a Google form that I want you to click on after you've watched this video and, and basically you can vote on which one you think w should win and you do need an email just so I don't want, you know, s someone who's submitted to... Uh, vote like several times so they win obviously yeah so uh please do definitely um vote please that's the way you can participate in this so vote for your winner so uh let's get into it so obviously the the rules so this is this person's one for the season 30 or season whatever uh, prize track so let's see what they've done Actually, tell you what, I'll just go through the rules real quick. So, obviously, they have to stick to the structure of the slideshow. They can't move pictures. Um, you have to create a season for a season. Uh, sorry, a season prize track similar to the season thirty-three prize track, and they can do any season of the show or the movie if they wanted to. Uh, you'll need five new items. They can be characters, buildings, decorations, but there has to be a, uh, a maximum of two character skins slash characters. You must have a prize track, a short quest line, blah, 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 and you must include the following animation in either a new character or skin, and that animation is crap dance. Failures of all these rules revolts, results in um, disqualification. I'm trying to think what season this might be. <laughs> Probably should have put that as a rule. I didn't actually do it, though. So anyway, uh, part one. Larry Burns, he's on the run from the cops, he hides in the dark alley, and when he hears footsteps approach him, Homer is on the way to Moe's when he hears a strange rattle uh, in a dark alleyway. He walks closer and is shocked to see his old friend Larry Burns. Larry looks exhausted, but Homer uh, invites him to go drink at Moe's. Larry hesitates at first, but eventually gives in. Uh, Moe's gives in at Moe's. Homer asks what he's been up to, and Larry confesses that he's a thief and hasn't accomplished anything. In an act of comfort, Homer invites Larry to the annual Springfield cook-off. So, obviously, there... You complete that, and you will unlock uh, Larry Burns. It's obviously the, the season eight. There you go. <laughs> uh, Larry Burns, character from season eight. Uh, Burns, Burns, baby. Awesome. Part two at Springfield ch uh, Chili Cookoff. Everything was going great until Larry spots Chief Wiggum at the stand. They make eye contact, and Chief Wiggum goes chasing after him. Larry realizes that he can't outrun him, so he takes a pile of Caroline Reapers and repeatedly throws it at Wiggum. The chili lands in his mouth, and he swallows it whole in seconds he starts hallucinating and starts stumbling into the woods larry makes a run for it and gets stopped by eddie and lou so obviously that from that you unlock the springfield chili cook-off as a building and that's from obviously season 8 episode 9 voyage of homer awesome part 3 homer arrives at the police station and sees larry in the mugshot room he's standing with a group of people all dressed on a in, in costumes, Larry gets out and is taken to the negotiation room where he meets the commandant. He makes Larry an offer to go to the military school or serve his time in jail. And so from that, you unlock the crossover mugshot board as a decoration. Pretty cool. From the Springfield Files. Uh, part 5. 
One, wait, no, part, f- <laughs> part four. Larry makes the decision to go to the military school where he serves four months community service sentence. Homer meets Larry at the entrance and drives Larry to get his luggage. The next day, he was straight off to military school. When he got there, he was so pleasantly gr- greeted by dozens of boys that were standing in front of him. The commandment welcomed Larry to Romerwood and showed him the, his dorm. Larry was very confused. Where is all the men? All he sees is children, and the commandment explains that this is a military school for boys, and he was just there so that the boys can stop bullying the cafeteria lady. And so from that, you unlock part four, the commandment, commandant, who's a character from season eight, episode 25, the secret war of Lisa Simpson. And then part five, one week turned into two, which turned into three and four. And this is how long it took for Larry to finally get expelled from the school for being lazy, too lazy. When the commandant met Homer at the gate with Larry, he explained that Larry is no longer under his destruct, his district, ugh. Destruction, uh, but he doesn't mean, but it doesn't mean he doesn't get punished. Homer asked, "What is his punishment?" And the commandment explained, "If not military school, then it was the gay steel mill." Larry begged to be let back into Romwood, but they were stuck in the steel w- with the steel mill gays that were ha- happy about Larry. Okay, <laughs> and then you know, part five, the steel mill gays, and this will be like a crowd decoration from Homer's phobia. And then the epilogue says, after three weeks, Homer went back to the steel mill and was surprised to see Larry. Larry looked different. He had abs, great posture, and was decked out in overalls. Larry explained that he seemed, it seemed like a punishment, but it turned out to be a blessing, and uh, the rest gets cut off, unfortunately. That's a bit annoying. Um, sorry about that. I think it's just the way it converted. So it is obviously a prize track. So, Tasks and animations for Larry. We've got Drink at Moe's. Uh, it's an animation of Hop Towns. Um, doesn't really explain what that animation is. Maybe he's just got like a um, like a, a hitchhiking sign. Uh, Dance to Senor Burns for eight hours. The 12 hour task is try to convince Mr. Burns to give him money. So uh, it's not really an explanation of what that is. But I imagine it's just him, Mr. Burns and he's begging him for money. And buy a train ticket for 24 hours. I wonder, maybe, who knows what that will be. Maybe the Union Station. For the Commandant, we've got Walk Around Looking Busy. Uh, As an animated one, we've got Order Everybody to Do Crab Dance. That's kind of cool. That's a nice way to actually incorporate that. I kind of like how they've done that. Uh, Dance to Senior Burns and Do Nighttime Drills as an animation. And Recruit New Attendants. Do Nighttime Drills. That's cool. So, yeah, that's the first one. Um, Tell me what you thought of this one. Let's go look at another this next one is a google slide interesting so uh, also just as a side note I forgot to mention uh, before we look at this one there is one person who sent me a link but I do not have access to it I have requested access to uh, said slideshow so please do give me access because I do need to judge it anyway let's get on so this one we have Mr. Burns is a bit stuck he needs to know what his workers really think of the new plant cafeteria so he decides to suit back up into Fred and see what his employers think of it by being an employee make Mr. Burns investigate his employees and make Smithers get worried make Homer completely trust Fred and so from that you unlock Fred Cranepool and this is going to be a costume and obviously it's from Undercover Burns Springfield is finally getting some tourists, but there is a problem. They need somewhere to stay, but everything is too expensive. But Tuckernook is to the rescue. So you make Springfield complain about the prices times 10. And you get the Tuckernook in. Very nice little build in that, actually. Again, Homer has has been fired from the nuclear plant after causing another meltdown, and he's looking for another job. He then remembers Janie's Janie's birthday party last week and realises there's a great job. He can be a DJ at Razzle Dazzle's Pizza Tatum Plate. So you make Homer be a DJ, make cops look for the drugs in the machines. And from that, you get the Fun Time Funky 4 from the NPC NPC Bundle. That's interesting. Uh, Do Pizza Bot's dreams of electric guitars. Okay. Is that from, oh, that's from the episode. Okay, so I guess four NPCs. That's pretty awesome. Uh, after Homer accidentally buys a year's subscription to Spla- Spla- Slapify, Lisa is happy to listen to her favourite artist again. And magically brings him back into Springfield with her to make Lisa listen to Splatify and make Homer look for a second job. And that will unlock... Um, how do you say this? Qualalbi? 
Quillalby. Uh, this is a character from Panic on the Streets of Springfield. And then finally, we've got Mo has been looking for another job now that Barney drank his whole supply of beer and he went broke. But luckily for him, a new bar has just opened on the Squidport and Mo is ready to get a job to make Mo work at Cancun Wancun. And then you get Cancun Wancun, which is a building for the Squidport. Interesting. From the last bar fighter. Bar fighter. Anyway, let's look at some tasks and animations. So we've got for Fred Cranepool, have an error, an error suit up is an animation. Uh, take, I imagine that's Mr. Burns getting into it. Take two sips of beer is an eight out of task. Signal Smithers, this is an animation. A small rocket comes out of his head and he chases it around town. 24 hour task, upgrade the plant. Uh, that'll be at the plant, I imagine. And then for uh, this dude, <laughs> question his existence. Uh, crab dance is an animation. He does a little jazzy crab dance. Interesting way of... Pose for an album cover, sing a song and dance with other people in town and... Oh, sorry. Sing a song with... Dances with other people in town and sings. And then star in a music video for 24 hours. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I like that one. So, uh, yeah. Imagine... Go tell your thoughts on this one. And go vote if you liked it the best. And then, and then we have this last one, which is from season 11. This person's actually put what season it's from. Uh... My bad, I probably should have told people to do that. <laughs> um, awesome, so, it's rules, so, here we go. Questline. Homer asks, why are they doing a cheap tie-in for season 11? That isn't even a great, oh, that isn't even a great season. Edward, he tells Homer and the town that season 11 was their last decent season, so they must put on a good show. So you make Homer complain, make Springfielders earn stars by celebrating their pasts. Um, <clears throat> and then you unlock... Edward, oh, that's Edward. Edward Christian. I was wondering who the heck's Edward. Edward Christian is a character from Beyond Blunderdome. Interesting. Edward Christian is pretty happy with the celebrations, but there are some people who he doesn't want in the town. Luckily, there is a rocket to send them all to a nice place. So you make Homer prepare to board the rocket, make Gluttons prepare to board a rocket, and make Edward send Springfielders away. Make Springfielders earn stars by celebrating their past, and it turns out, oh, turns out they're all sent to a fat camp. I imagine that's like... Okay, and you get Operation Exodus as a building, and this is from Treehouse of Horror X. Homer is angry about him being sent away, and he does not does not know why, Ed, why, but Edward tells him it's because he killed Mod Flanders. I thought it's because he was fat. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ned defends Homer, saying it was an accident. So you make Ned def defund, oh, defend. Uh, Homer make Homer defend himself and make Springfielders earn stars by celebrating their past. And Mod is here. That's cheap. Adding Mod Flanders. That's cheap. Oh, I guess. Oh, oh, alone again, naturally. Uh, that's a death episode. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Is it season eight? No, season eleven. Sorry, I'm getting the the other one mixed up. Is it season eleven, you guys? I think so. Yeah, alone again, natural. That sounds right. Uh, Edward has been looking for a mascot for the celebrations and picks Duffman. Duffman is happy, but Homer is mad. Make Homer get angry. Make Edward pick Duffman as a mascot. Make Springfielders earn stars by celebrating their past. And Homer ding dong dashes Duffman. And you get oh Duffman's house as a building from. Uh, Molian. <laughs> Fimolian, is it? And then Edward says to end the celebrations, he's giving his Springfielder a big mansion. So you make Homer make his case for being the best, make Springfielders say they're the best, and make Springfielders vote. And then make Edward reach, read out the votes, and Homer wins. Yay. And then you unlock Homer Time, the Ho oh, Homer Time Mansion. The Homer Time Mansion, maybe. And this will be a building, and it's from Behind the Laughter. Oh, that's the clip show, isn't it? <laughs> that's quite clever, actually. They yeah, managed to get the uh, something from the clip show. Um, is that not just the White House? Or is that... Hmm, okay. Uh, fair enough. Let's have a look at tasks and animation. So for Edward Christian, crab dance. Try... Try create a new TikTok dance? Animated him doing a crab dance. Oh, okay. I see. So crab dance, aka trying to create a new TikTok dance <laughs> as an animation, and then obviously it's him doing a crab dance. Steal thrown away scripts as an animation at the dumpster pulling out scripts. That's cool. Uh, green light sequels and reboots for eight hours. Is this guy a film dude? I don't actually know who he is. I assume he's. I'm. I'm assuming he's a film dude from this. Help out a blockbuster shoot. 
for 12 hours and ruin celebrities' reputations for 24 hours. For Mod Flanders, get hit with t-shirts as an animation. I think we all know what that is. <laughs> Her just getting killed, I guess. Maybe the little t-shirt girl spawn. Uh, for four hours, fly around Springfield animation will have angel wings and will fly over your town. Okay. Do wifely duties for eight hours. Uh, raise money for the church and repent for her evil thoughts. It's not a bad selection for tasks for mod. So those are the free. Click the Google form right now. If you're watching right now, click that Google form. And you vote on which one you wanted to see. So we got our season 8 one, our season 11 one, and the season... So quite simple, we obviously had three. Season 8, which was the one that had Larry Burns and the Commandant. Season 32, which had Fred Cranepool uh, and Quill Lauby. And Season 11, which had Edward Christian and Mod Flanders. So yeah, obviously, vote on which of these three you like the most. And the one with the least amount of votes will be knocked out. Two of them will, the, the other two though, will go through. So uh, yeah, get voting. And please, 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 don't be doing any like voter fraud. <laughs> Like, no, um, no trying to, like, if suddenly someone has an influction of votes, I'm going to assume it was said person, and I'll have to cancel the whole thing. So if you don't want to ruin the whole thing, please don't try any shady business, okay? Just, you can vote for yourself once, and that's fine, alright? I'll let you vote for yourself once, that's, that's totally cool. But, uh, don't be voting for yourself more than once. Uh, obviously it's limited to one email. But um, I know there's ways around that. You can make like 10 emails if you wanted to. Yeah, don't do that, please. Um, if I somehow find out, which I mean I might not be able to, but if I do find out, I will uh, be disqualify disqualifying you from any further competitions that I ever do. And that includes my little Discord prize giveaways. So, uh, yeah, you don't want to be don't wanna be disincluded from that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go vote now. Uh, yeah, goodbye.